brown stuff all over my driver's side window. Kathleen Singleton's son Trent stared, almost in disbelief, at that mass of brown stuff. It was really a thicket of bees on his mom's white car, thousands of them. Trent came to help when nobody else could. I just called 911 and they told me that there's nothing that they could do. No one had answers for Kathleen, not the fire department, not LSU, not animal control. During what became a three hour stop at Hammond Air Plaza, she thought she was running a quick errand, but was instead held hostage by the bees and left at a loss to explain what she was seeing. I just couldn't imagine. Uh, I, I never thought bees. It's, uh, I, I just was surprised. I was shocked. If she was shocked, fascinated others texted, <laughs> talked, and took pictures, and even offered advice. We passed back by and say, well, did y'all call Channel 9 News? And I say, they always have a problem with people with bees, and maybe you should call them to see what they would do. Last summer, Nine News helped a Bruley woman solve a bee problem by finding a bee expert. They flying out of the box. He ain't got the queen yet. Kathleen eventually called her son because he knows a beekeeper. I just couldn't believe that they would just concentrate like that all in one area. The biggest question was why all in one place? But that answer was apparently simple. You know, they were just swarming and when the queen gets tired, they land and that's where she landed and they just swarm around her and protect her. Trent's beekeeper friend told him what to wear and what to do to find the queen. Remove her and the others will leave. He never found her, but she apparently took off at some point anyway and that dispersed her minions.